the king? What happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue! Because you cut it out! You are his son? Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the Fark will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. For now.